2200 New Rome City. Violence plagues the streets of the once prosperous Italian utopia. While once the free market had ruled the land, now only two warring families control all of the city's pizza parlors, casinos, and penny arcades. The first, the Papaginos. Their family had been around since the founding of the city and had been run by Papagino himself for the past 40 years. The rival family, the Carpaccios, had only become a real competition over the past decade, known for their revolutionary combination of quality pizza and animatronic entertainment. However, it seems that the two rivals may have negotiated some form of treaty. It would appear that Mr. Stromboli, a high-ranking employee of Papagino, has entrusted Johnny, who is the son and sole heir of the Papagino throne, the task of delivering a briefcase, which he claims holds the metaphorical olive branch that could offer peace to Carpaccio and end the bloody rivalry. Door. Don't you know that Carpaccio's goons are around here? You're right, you're right. Listen, pal, would you join me for a sec? I'd like some backup with the job. Well, what's the job? Well, apparently, Big Man Stromboli and Carpaccio have worked down an agreement. We cough up some schmackaroos, generously provided by Stromboli, and Carpaccio's goons will stop loitering on Papagino's pizza parlors. So, Job delivery's boy been stuck on me. All right, uh, that doesn't sound too hard. Uh, why exactly do you need me? Well, to be frank, I'm feeling a bit saucy about Carpaccio. No way in New Rome City ain't gonna try something. You'll be a good witness. I see, I see. Uh, how is old Papa holding up anyway? Eh, uh, not too good to be clear. He's gonna kick the cannoli any day now. Then I'm gonna be the one they're calling Papa. Uh, that'll be a treat. Then Stromboli will have to take orders from you. Yeah, I'd fire the old fart, but Papa insists I keep him around as a right-hand man. But hey, we'll all be bad. Once I'm in charge, we're gonna put Carpaccio's pizza palaces right out of business. Yeah, that'll be the day. Let's get out of here. 32 minutes later, our heroes Johnny and Bambino arrive at the Carpaccio Megaplex, which also doubles as an animatronic warehouse. Now you wait here. Carpaccio tries any funny business. You use this on him. Put one right in his calzone. Ah, uh, geez, Johnny boy, I don't know about this. This thing's bigger than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Hey, it'll look intimidating. All right. Wish me luck. Deep in the center of this vast and foreboding building lies Carpaccio's restricted office. Well, well, well. If it isn't Johnny boy, how's Papa been treating you? It's none of your business, Carpaccio. Ah, here's the money you're requesting. Straight from Mr. Stromboli. To you. Now you better hold up your end of the deal, buddy. I won't see you or any your goons around our pizza shack again. You hear? Not so fast, Johnny boy. It isn't this that easy. Do me a favor and uh, open up that case. Friends all over. No, I'm dry. Sorry, Johnny boy, I would have paid up, but I distinctly remember your policy. 30 minutes, or it's free, and I don't see what I asked for. But the dreamy. Who's there? Holy ravioli. I gotta go tell Papa Gino. He's leaving his empire in the hands of crooks. Ah, looks like we got a rat, boys. Well, you know what we do when rats are around here. 
we call the exterminator. Hey, Mo. Mozzarella? Yeah, I got a couple of vermin you gotta exterminate. Devastated by the abrupt loss of his dear partner and friend, Bambino rushes to inform Papa Gino of the betrayal that has taken place, not realizing the danger he himself may be facing. Hey! Who are you? So, you're trying to see Papa Gino? Yeah, so what if I am? Sorry, but boss man says that's a no can do, and take one more step, I'm gonna have to make gelada out of ya. You, uh, got anything else on you? Nothing but these hands, but you better fear them just the same. Oh. No guns were part of the equation. All right, all right, right this way, sir. Grazie, paisano. Papa Gino, sir. Uh, I'm afraid I have some dire news for you. Oh, yeah? Uh, for here to go. Uh, I'm afraid it's no time for joking, sir. Uh, I'm afraid, uh, your son was, uh, shot to death. Uh, you mean he died? Oh. <coughs> yes, and it gets worse than that. Stromboli set it up. He's an imposter! Oh, poco Dio. He's been after my inheritance for a long, long time. I should have done this a long, long time ago. Mr. Stromboli, you're fired. And so the Papagino Empire managed to surpass its expiration date. Our villains got what they deserved, and in the end, our hero came out on top. And though the Papagino and Carpaccio rivalry may live on, it seems that good has made it through to fight another day. Mm -hmm.